Hello everybody and welcome to Novel GCSC. If you're new in this video we are going to be looking at trace tables and just giving ourselves an idea of what the topic is. So I just wanted to say that this website 101 Computing has a really amazing resource and this is unsponsored for understanding trace tables. So let's look at the website now. The animation here demonstrates the use of a trace table and how to track the values of the variables. Now, the reason I gave you the link is so that you can look at it in your own time for a greater understanding because trace tables is a bit of a difficult topic to explain. There is a really good video made on YouTube. I will link it in the description box below that I suggest you watch. But um, this is just a website version for it. So. What the whole idea of a trace table is, is you're tracing the value that you're looking for. You're tracking the value of the variable as it changes as you do stuff to the variable. So in this algorithm, let's just look at the algorithm alone, shall we? So you can see here that you've got a number, which is three. You're printing the number. And then from i is one to three, you're adding five to that number and you're then printing that new number. You then repeat this loop three times and then you print question mark at the end so obviously the initial number then changes its value as it goes down the program so you can see here in line one you've got number three in line two it's still three and now you've got the number equals number plus five so you've got eight you're then printing that so it's outputted and then you've got i is equal to two the number is now 13 because you've got eight plus five and then you're printing 13 and then you've got three again, and so on. So hopefully you understand this. Again, it's really difficult to explain trace tables, um, but again, I'll link that really useful video in the description box below. Good luck with your exams and see you soon.